Yeah, that is absolutely shocking. And that's, that's the worst there, line, right? So the thing is... <laughs> All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I've got Seb with me. Hello. And we're doing something a bit different today. We're going to put the acting in reacting. Now, you might not know this. I'm actually a little bit of a thespian, mate. Are you? Okay. Are you? Well, legally, yes. We're going to find out. Because I have legally. acted. I have acted on the BBC more than once. More than once, I'll have you know. TV appearances do run in the family. Beyond any of your YouTube career, people don't know, our mother has been on basically every game show in the world, pets win prizes, crystal maze, take your pick. Basically, that's the, I think there should be a Netflix documentary on my mum. I'm addicted, my mum was addicted to game shows. <laughs> yeah. Entirely, man. This video is about some cameos I've done, particularly in one show called Jamie Johnson, which is a really good show on CBBC. It's all about football, obviously. And it's all about a character called Jamie Johnson who wants to be a footballer and all different characters in that as well. I've, I've done two different cameos in this show. There's a lot of big footballing names I have much bigger big, than myself. Big. Stevie G's been in there. I think the F2 freestylers were in there. been in there. Rune, all the big names. Okay. Uh, and Spencer FC. The guys from Jamie Johnson very uh, nicely sent me the footage to use in this video. And I thought it'd be quite funny if we analyzed and actually rated my acting. I'm looking forward to this. I have some strong opinions on it. I'm sure you're gonna as well. Uh, feel free to go to town. The first clip we're gonna watch, Seb, is I think from series three of Jamie Johnson. Mm. Uh, this was back quite a few years ago. You can tell because I'm wearing the old Umbro hashtag gear. Yes. With a character called Jack, whose real name is Lena. It's a girl who's a really good footballer, actually. I played a bit of football with her on the day. She comes down to get some inspiration. I mean, inspirational, club, she? inspirational mm. figure. Yeah, well. They're obviously writing the script, inspirational figure. Who do we want? First Other name inspirational figure. Figures were not available on the day. Uh, obviously, I was, must have been top of that list. Anyway, enough talking. Should we watch it? What, please, can we? And if anyone from the Oscar committee is watching, feel free to leave a comment. Log off now. Okay, here we go. Lena there. She looks She looks determined, let's be honest. Who's this? this? Big job this, you know. Oh, stop the there, Ben. First things first, you were clearly nervous about your acting debut because if you actually look closely, you've taken the wrong jacket. You took one of the jackets that we got sent as a sample before the hashtag badges were added onto it. So literally, the big chance on the BBC, back in the days, hashtag maybe needed a bit more promotion, you failed at the first hurdle. Your coat's covering the club badge. You can't even see the club badge on the jacket, mate. And we had them at that point. Discuss. Well, you're not, you're not wrong. It, was, uh, it wasn't nerves. It was just basically, I do, you know this, I do everything very last minute and late, and I just nice. grabbed the coat on the wall that was the wrong coat. I... Sorry to the, the branding department of hashtag. Yeah, I'll be honest, when I remember when I remember this happening, I was I remember you being pretty gutted about it as well, actually. Because well, the irony is that it's obviously I've, it was a cold day, so I'm covering my, t my match shirt, so the hashtag badge is just not on display. Exactly. And I thought BBC might have an issue with it, but actually we're fine The only it. chance we've got is if we used to write hashtag on the ball, so maybe there's a little visual hashtag on one of these balls. Let's see. I that. think it gets a mention hashtag as well, so let's, let's just play that Back. bit through. Spencer. Big job this, you know. Wait, hang on. How happy was she to hear, see me? Did you hear that? Spencer! Well, Isn't that? I'd like, I'd like you to have greeted her back. Hello, you just gone straight in there. Big job this, I'm you know. I'm following the script, mate. <laughs> I'm aware of that. The other, what I will say is a little eyebrow raise from you there. Little eyebrow you like raise. that? I quite enjoyed it. The rock? I quite enjoyed it. Well, I, I, if I have any, any feedback for myself here so far, it's that I should have been... Oh, what, we three seconds <laughs> in feedback? I should have been more prepared to improvise in the day. I followed yeah. the script very... And I, I mean, I felt it. BBC, big opportunity, don't want to go off piece. You're nervous. Uh, but listen to how happy she is to see me. Spencer. Big job this, you know, setting up a football team. Tell me about it. When I was your age... I literally do tell her about it. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted me to. Yeah. If someone had told me what we'd end up doing, I wouldn't have believed them. But it's incredible what you can right do about the badge. when you put your mind to something. I know, but it's just... What do you think about that, that delivery of that line? Yeah, I didn't mind that. Um, wasn't, that wasn't too bad. I, mean, I, I actually it's, think it's quite bad. It's a little bit wooden, if we're going to say wooden, anything. Yeah. It's very like, you are just remembering the script and delivering yeah. it. It's not acting. You're reciting yeah. what you're doing there. You're not wrong. Good news is, though, there was a little pen written hashtag on the ball, as predicted. So, you know, branding department have come up trumps again. If someone had told me what we'd end up doing, I wouldn't have believed them. But it's incredible what you can do when you put your mind to something. I know, but there's just so much to do. I know there is, but that's the best bit. Yeah, that is absolutely shocking. I know there is, but that's the best bit. Like, come on, mate. That's not a conversation, is it? That is you having a conversation with your piece of paper that you're reading from. Listen, first, let's look at this wide shot for a second. What am I doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I walking around in a coat and full kit, by full the way? Full kit. 
Full kit, no shin pads. Yeah, um, it's, it's awful, mate. This is actually filmed at our full, old school. Full hair and makeup done, though. I don't think I had any makeup on the day. That is our old school, yeah. I think, I could be wrong, someone from Jamie Johnson might be able to credit this. I think it's supposed to be like a dream sequence, so it's not doesn't it's not supposed to matter that I'm just randomly yeah, yeah, in a yeah, field. Yeah. It's like she's just, obviously she's had a dream sequence. of an inspirational figure in football and she's dreamt of the first person yeah, that comes to her mind. It could be about to become a footballing nightmare for you, Lenny, I'm afraid. Let's watch more. Or Jack, I should say. I know there is, but that's the best bit. Yeah, what that could be better awful. than setting up your own football team? You know, successful people, they tend to have one thing in common, and that is they never give up. There's just no time for anything else now. Yeah, that's no, the worst there, there, line, right? isn't it? So the, thing is, so the thing is, that was a sentence that you made into two. So it was like one flowing line, and you sort of had this pause, and then it's like you said two sentences that didn't work without each other. That was... It was poor. It was poor. It was poor. I'm, I'm happy to admit that I can do I better. I pause being kind. I can do a lot better than that. I hope you will. I don't know if I do. <laughs> I think I can now. In the future. And that is they never give up. There's just no time for anything else now. My mum used to say to me, if you get knocked down seven times, you get up eight. Mum never said no, that. No, she never said she that. I can confirm that. that. It's, it's a lie. lie. It's, a it's a lie. fictional show. But also a good message. It is a good message. Nothing against the message, just the delivery. And of course, she also said, don't forget to hashtag it. Mm. She does say that. I can confirm she does say that. Can we talk about my... Bear in mind, we're talking about the branding. I do get the hashtag in. And can we talk about the delivery of the hashtag? That's I, I'm that actually, I'm actually, if we can just get that back, maybe even in slow-mo, I actually would say that it's a pretty good hashtag considering the fact that you're also holding, holding a football ball. at the same time. That's something you've clearly rehearsed and therefore it's become natural to you. I can't say the same thing about your lines. Let's watch, I, I didn't rehearse them, so yeah, right. <laughs> Let's watch the hashtag back, mate. That's probably the best bit of this scene. There's more. Of course, she also said, don't forget to hashtag it. Yeah, it's a decent hashtag. It looks relaxed. It looks nonchalant. It looks it looks organic. It looks authentic. I'm happy with the hashtag. You're redeeming yourself with the hashtag. The coat is such a mare. Though. The coat That's is awful, wrong, mate. Coat. I'm fuming with you for the coat. And um, there's a nice little smile there of the hashtag, which I think adds charm and, and, and uh, approachability to my character. Yeah. Bear in mind, I was playing myself, so I had to get into method for that. Yeah. So I said, what sort of Spencer do you want me to be? Let's be yourself. I said, there's many versions. Yeah, there are. I could have confirmed <laughs> that as well. <laughs> That's absolutely legit. Don't forget to get the hashtag it. Yeah, what I will say is about that is, is that she's sort of like, all right, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. But remember, don't forget, she's like, okay. I love the also, the idea no that my, no growing up, my mum would say to me, don't forget to hashtag it, even though the team didn't yeah, yeah. exist. When I was growing up, my mum would say, don't forget to hashtag it. I was like, what are you talking about? No, what I will it say will come is, clear in years. Is a fair play to the script writers for getting that in there because yeah. you forgot your coat. So if they hadn't, we'd have, you know, it would have been a missed opportunity. Get knocked down seven times, get back up eight. So that's the end of the dream sequence. She's back to real life now. She's left like this paradise world where she gets to talk to people like me. And now she's back to the real world. Mm. And I've inspired her. She woke up in a cold sweat. I've inspired her. That's great news. That's the first scene. Mark out a 10 for the overall performance. Uh, well, I will be fairly kind because it was your first time acting. Obviously, you've done stand up in the past. You have got experience in these things. So it's not like I'm going to upgrade you. Oh, that's pretty good for a first time, mate. Because it wasn't your first time on camera, was it? Let's be honest. No, no, but no. But your first no, time no. acting from lines. You've also read scripts before. With all these things considered, I'm going to struggle to give you more than a 5.5, mate. Mainly because of the coat. The coat is a mare. Uh, and that counts in the performance for me. That's the wardrobe department's job, mate. No, I can only concentrate you, on, I'm an actor. Yeah, I can only no. concentrate on so much one Here, point. Here's what I will say though, Spencer. Thankfully, having a low mark means there is room for improvement, right? You've definitely, well, have you tried? I think you sort of tried. So hopefully in the future clips, you do improve. So amazingly, the people at Jamie Johnson invited me back to be in it again, which is mental. This time wasn't a dream sequence. It was a few years later. And this was actually filmed at uh, the FIFA E-Club World Cup final because in this storyline, Jamie Johnson, who's in this scene, uh, has been injured, so he's not able to play football, so he, he moves to esports. And he actually, the fictional storyline in Jamie Johnson, Johnson. Yeah, and the fictional story is that he obviously is playing in, in basically the E-World Cup final. So what we did is we filmed it. And I think this happens a lot. I mean, I know that some of um, uh, Star is Born was filmed at Glastonbury. Yep. They use real-life events and they... Yeah, no, matter, no, no amount of CGI in the world can replicate like a Glastonbury scene, you know, it needs to be legit. Remember films like Goal and uh, things like Dream Team on TV, yeah, they'd yeah, use yeah. real life crowds for matches and then they'd fake it in between. Harchester so. United, the old Dream Team boys, they used to fake it and you could tell. And this is a couple of years later. It, I, I think I've, my acting has blossomed. Yeah, I mean, in, in between the two, I've done the Not Another YouTube book series, which had a bit of acting for me and I thought was better. We could maybe review that in another video if you want to see more acting reviewing. Let's see how we get on. You're a failed footballer, and now you're about to become a failed gamer. Gosh. 
Yeah, it's harsh, isn't it? Please welcome our first finalist, Jethro Stevenson, a.k.a. Jack Eleven. I've not had much to do so far. I'm just standing next to Adam Smith. Well, you haven't had anything to do so far. Well, no, you've still got to hold a certain, you but, know, but decorum. Is, I'm not going to give you any points for that because that is literally what you do when you're presenting the esports events. So you don't have to do any acting there. You literally are just doing what you do on stage as if it's live. So there's nothing it, there. You'll find it was uh, Sigmund Freud who said, the hardest person to play is yourself. Mm, okay, well, how, how's, it, how's that worked out for him? Well, he's dead now. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> In front of a crowd as well. It's theatre, really. This is theatre. This actually is. This is Shakespearean. Here we go. Jeffro, sounds like you've got some tremendous support here today. Yeah, my friends are coming out. What this means to me. You don't miss this for anything today. Are you feeling confident? Yeah. I haven't considered a single goal this on, and I'm not about to start now. Ooh, sounds like fighting talk to me, Spencer. But without further ado, let's meet our other competitor, Jamie Johnson, aka Jamie Johnson FC. Okay, so so far, clearly, I, I think it's very good, but I'm not I'm not going to get carried away because you are just doing what you do on a regular basis. You're in a very natural environment to you now. You're literally just interviewing somebody, so like it's not hard, mate. Move on. This guy thinks he's bloody. I was going to say Harvey Weinstein, but I think he's the Simon Cowell. Harvey Weinstein. He's the Simon Cowell, the acting industry. No, like, I'm not. Who at made all. you the boss? You, I've seen you play. What is it, Mr. Mr. Skoblowski? Thank you very do much. Do your Russian accent, Mr. Skoblowski. When he was at, in his sixth form, I went and watched him play that. He was like a Russian him, character. You were actually quite good, to be fair. I give you an eight for it. Ooh. Take uh, it I'm eight. Other competitor, Jamie Johnson, aka Jamie Johnson FC. Interesting there. Just a little side note. I don't know if this is true, but. Character's called Jamie Johnson. Mm. His team name, Jamie Johnson FC. Remind you of anyone? Yes. Oh, what? I mean, DTFC. <laughs> <laughs> Rings a ring, bell. Uh, oh, Spencer FC, of course, yeah. Anyway, how could I forget? <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Have you got a lot of support here today? That's poor. What? That's poor. I'm not saying that. Like, that just wasn't a natural interview. Like, you can tell that that's a setup scenario there because you've basically gone, hello, Jamie, nice to have an interview. Anyone support you today? Like, I don't know, that just didn't feel authentic for I, me. I do you. agree with you, but, and again, if I'm going to criticise here, I wouldn't criticise my delivery. I'd criticise my lack of ability to go beyond the script. Yes, that's what exactly what it is. Which, I didn't which, know if I was allowed to. They didn't give me no, that freedom. Okay, that, that's, that's fair. You've played it safe. I want the director right? to put my hand Did on my Brad shoulder. Did Brad Pitt win an Oscar playing it safe? <laughs> Did Leonardo DiCaprio eventually win an Oscar playing it safe? No, he didn't. Got to take risks, Spencer. And I agree. And the fact is, we both know if I smashed this, I would have got an Oscar. You might have been because have to change your name look, to Oscar. They do look at Jamie Johnson uh, specifically. But I think that for me to really let loose, I obviously need... It's like in football management. You need a manager who knows when to put your arm around his shoulder, when to give him a kick on the backside. I need someone to say, Spen, give him hell, kid. Give me your best. Let that really show your inner, you know, okay. Scorsese. Well, not Scorsese. <laughs> He's a director. I've got it in me. I don't, honestly think I've got a De Niro yeah, raging ball you, Let's see how you grow into the performance. Like, like De Niro and Raging Ball, I am prepared to put on £40 pounds for a role. For a method acting role. Yeah, exactly. Let's just watch this again. Because I, I see what you're saying, but... The build-up was a bit weird. He's walking in quite slowly, and it's just like... I oh, don't blame him, mate. He's doing fine, thank you no, very much. No, we also had about Look five like minutes. Look at bad actor blamed his no, co-actor. No, he's a great... Right he's, Lou, his real name, Jamie Johnson, he's actually also a very good footballer because we played with him at one of the games uh, during this. Um, now, he's great. I'm just saying that we had, like, a two-minute window to film this in between the actual Excuses. World Cup. Adam's done very well. Just shout out to Adam Smith right now. I think you've been brilliant so far, mate. If anything, probably prefer your jacket and shirt combo as well. I think really? You're smarter. Yeah, that's more you, a bit more boring. Um, I've got yeah, a bit more I'm out not, there. I'm not, I'm not, I have got a, a, a roll neck, but to be fair, I don't mind the roll neck for you there, but just Adam, I think you're brilliant, mate. Well done. Just before we go into this one, I'm going to say for that other one there, I am actually going to bring you up. You're a 6.5 there. So basically, overall right now, you're a six. Which is decent. Which is I fine. Mean, this is about par. It's, it's like... So it's level par. It's not, it's not Danny DeVito, but it's better than Schwarzenegger. Probably you're about Schwarzenegger right now. Yeah. Which is fine. And with similar builds, so... Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our new FIFA E-World Cup champion, Jamie Johnson! Not bad. That's good. Not bad. That was good. That's good acting. That was, good, like, touching seven. We're getting there now, Spen. We're getting there. I think we should watch that back. The delivery. Oh my God, he said two words. He's watching it back, yeah, the guys. delivery. E-World Cup champion, Jamie Johnson. Yeah, it wasn't bad. That was fine. Again, you are in your natural habitat. Do you want to be a real footballer? Or a computer one? And that's just great acting. Jamie there. Jamie's done a good job there. Lou. Lou. Um... There we go. That's it. That's it. So they kept me quite 
I know yeah, what they're doing. They edited the BBC, me out. I know what they're doing in the BBC. When I remember the moment when the director pulled me to one side and said, I want you to say Jamie Johnson. Mm. And I said, how do you want me to say it? He said, just say Jamie, Jamie Johnson. Johnson. And I said, yeah, but is, it, is, it, is it a, is it a Jamie, Jamie Johnson? Is it a Jamie Johnson? And he said, just do what feels right. And I thought about it. I spoke to my agent and I spoke to <laughs> I uh, pick up. my acting coach <laughs> who um, is a small dog. <laughs> And I, um, I just went with what I felt I would want to see if I was in the audience. Yeah, yeah. And it came out as a Jamie Johnson. I will say that you were good. Uh, you were good enough. You were good enough. You got the job done. Um, Considering they, I did, no, they did actually commission a second, a next series, a full Jamie series. Johnson. Yeah. And, and I heard the so. BBC commissioning editor said that it was my delivery of Jamie Johnson mm, that really that sealed the deal. Um, what's amazing about this, you guys won't necessarily believe this, but I can assure you it's true. I've had no formal training. That is definitely true. Yeah. I was in it, wasn't, it wasn't terrible. You didn't stink the joint out. You definitely were better in the second one. We were in a more natural environment. Um, maybe you'll get a call up for a future one, mate. Maybe. I uh, was in Theatre Studies A-level, but I got kicked out after one yeah, week. Yeah, I was going to ask that, actually. He kicked me out. Uh, and, and, and I say to Mr... Um, Scammel, which is his name, Mr. Scammel, if you're watching it, he puts the scam in Scammel because he's stealing a living as a theatre studies. <laughs> he couldn't see the potential in me. I say to Mr. Scammel, I had the last laugh. I'm in Jamie Johnson. You ever been in Jamie Johnson, pal? We haven't had the laugh last yet. The last laugh? The last laugh. Yeah, there's still time for Mr. Scammel to laugh. In fact, if he sees that, he may just, he may just have a wry cry go, yeah, that's why I got rid of him. No one else from my class has been in Jamie Johnson. Can you prove that? Yes. Although one of them is a professional act actress now. She was good. She was very good. Rosie Fascona. Hope you're well. Yeah, you're watching. Uh, thank you to the guy and guys at Jamie Johnson for having me involved in the series, not once but twice, and letting us use the footage in this video. I want to see you acting something, then I can analyse no your acting. No problem. I'm acting right now, mate. I'm pretending I like you. Wow. On that bombshell, <laughs> um, we have done some more acting seven right in the uh, Not Another YouTube book series. Mm. So if you oh, want to... Yeah. If you want to analyse some more acting, we, we could do in the future. But just a little bit of a different video. Some of you might watch Jamie Johnson at home. Let us know if you enjoyed my cameos in it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. And Jamie Johnson! See? Once it's in there, you never forget. <laughs>